Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to see uh, network simple network programming in uh, Java. So we are going to create simple TCP server socket and client socket, and we are going to send some simple data in uh, in between client and server. So let's start with server socket. We are going to need server socket. Uh, without server socket, we cannot proceed. We are going to provide one ephemeral port. Uh, ephemeral port is a port which is available for the public use. Uh, so you need to check the range of that port. So yeah, 666 is ephemeral port. You can use that. So next line is uh, server socket dot accept. So server, one server can uh, uh, serve to multiple clients and uh, so every time when uh, client is connected to a server uh, it returns one uh, simple socket object so this is actually a blocking call so what do you mean by blocking call is the uh, this particular uh, main thread or running uh, this thread this code uh, this process actually waits for client to connect and then only it starts executing its uh, further statement okay so it basically sleeps here uh, it basically waits here until uh, any any client makes a connection then it returns this socket object and then we proceed now what do we do is we need uh, output stream to write the data to the client and we also need input stream to read the data from the client okay so i am going to use here uh, what I'm going to use here uh, is a try closable. Okay, so try closable. Uh, let uh, uh, so try closable. Uh, I'm going to show you the syntax, and uh, also I'm going to use simple data uh, output string. So yeah, let's see. I need to wrap it uh, into. Yeah, I need to wrap it in between data input stream object. Yeah, it's working. So what I was talking about this try closable is uh, when you use try closable, I don't have to close this string. Autom uh, once this code comes out of this block, try block, uh, stream is going to get closed automatically. So it's a try closable. Uh, so here you can see, uh, not here, you can see filter output stream output stream it basically implements this closable interface okay closable and flushable so closable means uh, as we know uh, it's always a good uh, idea to close uh, input stream or output stream after your usage uh, to so that you know uh, it, uh, it's better uh, to you know, uh, uh, release the resources on time. So once it's no, it's of no use to you. You should uh, close that stream. Okay. So similarly, I'm going to create input stream, and all right. And so now I'm ready with the. So just for uh, what is this flush operation? So every input stream and uh, output, uh, so basically output stream, what it does is it does have uh, one buffer inside it. And uh, what happens is when uh, server or client sends data to each other, TCP, TCP buffer uh, gets filled. Okay. What it does is it waits for that buffer to get filled and only then when you when you do operation like this output stream dot write right utf let's see hi let's see i am sending this message hi from server and i'm going to read something from okay i'm going to 
print it okay just one message so what i was saying was uh, this flush operation was required it is required here not here so it basically tells it basically sends the data immediately it doesn't wait for uh, buffer to get filled so uh, this is very similar uh, example uh, you can see if you go to some areas where if you are using some public transport small autos or rickshaws they basically wait for uh, wait for all seats to get filled and then only they move ahead something similar concept uh, happens over here so here if you don't use flush then uh, the stream will wait for that buffer to get filled and then only it will send data to the client or other, another party but since we want to send this data immediately we are using this flush of course it's a, it's not a very efficient use of uh, the bandwidth uh, it's not using complete payload of payload of tcp but if, uh, in case of real time messaging like uh, let's say it's a if you are uh, if you are building some chat application and it is very important to uh, you know send uh, this message uh, immediately as soon as user hits the enter because that is the assumption right so yeah so this is done uh, now uh, let's create client uh, i'm going to create a client uh, here so let me correct the spelling okay so public static void main okay now uh, let's uh, so for server sorry so uh, client socket we need socket object here so since the machine uh, both processors uh, processes are running locally I need to use first IP address as localhost, and second parameter is the port where my process is client process is going to connect. It's uh, four times six, as you can see this here. So my server port is bound is bind is bound to this port. I need to uh, my client also need to connect to uh, that port, right? Okay. So again, uh, same same code basically. Uh, in fact, I can actually copy paste uh, this code here. Uh, the data output stream and uh, this whole code actually I can write from here. Uh, it just, yeah, you can see it's not even complaining. And I just need to say, right. So let's run our server first. Okay, my server has uh, is running. Now let me run the client. Okay, so client received the message hi from the server, and my server received the message hi from the client, and both exited successfully. So yeah, so if you like my videos, please share and like. My videos, okay, thank you.